Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we discuss a feature in just a few minutes. Today we're going to talk about creating circles. Now there are two ways to open the Draw Circle tab. The first is to use the menu, Create, Draw Curves, Circle. Notice the fourth tab that says Draw Circle. The second way is to use the toolbar shortcut. Click on the down arrow, select Circle, and once again we see the fourth tab that says Draw Circle. There are four options for creating circular segments. The first is called the two points and shoulder. This option starts by picking two anchor points. These define the start and the end of the circular sector. The third point that you choose is the shoulder. Note that I can drag this point around. I can also drag the start and the ending points around. The second option is called two points and a center. Just like the previous method, my first two points will define the start and the end of the circular sector. However, this time, the third point represents the center of the circle. Once again, note that I can move these points around. The third option is called two points and an angle. Again, here my first two points define the start and the ending points of the circular sector. However, I won't choose another point. Instead, I will type in an angle that defines the sector angle of the circle. For example, let's try 90 degrees. Note that I can move the endpoints around and pointwise will still maintain that sector angle. The last option here is called Point, Center, and Angle. First select a point on the circle. Next select the center. Now type in an angle that you want. Right now it says 90 degrees. I could type in 180 degrees if I'd like. If I'd like it to draw the other way, I just push this button called Flip. Or I could flip it back. Now I can type in a different angle for the sector, 270 degrees. This is also an easy way to draw a complete circle by typing in 360 degrees. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.